Right, I've started thinking that uh, we need to put lots of coils around the outside. And uh, I thought the best way to do it was to put a tube over the top like that and put uh, lots of air coils all the way around the outside because we're now lighting two LEDs up and uh, we're drawing 22 milliamps at 1.7 volts. So we just need to uh, scale that up to uh, however many uh, coils we're going to put around the outside. Now uh, I found out something that was interesting that like uh, if you disconnect the LED, uh, the coil has absolutely no resistance on the spindle. But as soon as you hook it up, you can feel it creating a, a slight drag. Now uh, we're still using the uh, green LED on the green secondary coil. Which is meaning the uh, neon's not lighting up. So uh, the reed switch back there is getting protected. We're not getting any arc in that. Well, I think that's quite good so far. The, uh, I'm going to try it with the uh, under the two to start with. Uh, one place right at the back, so they're all at 90 degrees. So. Uh, at the point where the most amount of resistance is, is when we're going to get the uh, kick off the uh, primary coil to spin it. So let's see where we go from here. It needs to be centred slightly, I can hear it tapping the side every now and again. I'm hoping that that's because of the drag on that one coil at the moment. And when we even it up, it's going to be uh, pushed into the centre by it. Okay. 